it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Not going to resonate for every single Cancer out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it's not your reading, make sure you check out your other signs, specifically your Moon and Venus, as they may resonate better in a love reading than your Sun sign. If you need a personal reading, feel free to hit me up. Everything you need to know to get a hold of me is in the description box to the video. If you're a single Cancer, make sure you also check out the bonus singles readings. All right, here we go. So Cancer, you're coming in this week in the Three of Wands, Page of Wands. So there's an attraction here, relatively new attraction, or somebody's just newly talking about it. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's at a little bit of a distance from you. Not a huge deal, though, but you could just be kind of waiting waiting for the right time to take action, waiting for the right time to say something to somebody here. Let's see. Yeah, waiting for the right time. So with the wheel, um, it's all about timing. It's obstacles being cleared between you and another person, whoever you're dealing with here, or somebody that you know, you're about to meet or whatever. Um, this is things turning around for you. It's like a burst of good luck, right? It's also fate, it's destiny. So it's putting you in the right path to meet this person and them you and all that good stuff. The moon, Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces. But there's something that's that's like still under the surface here with whoever you're dealing with. Something hasn't yet been revealed yet. It's like you're waiting for something. Waiting for something to come out. Waiting for something to show up. Judgment. You could have somebody that wants a second chance with you. Possibly a Pisces. Um, possibly a fire sign. But there's something here with your life purpose. This is about you looking at your past, looking at your present, um, kind of reevaluating your whole, your life purpose, your life path, what it is that you want in your love life. You could be looking at somebody differently um, or somebody's hiding the fact that they want a second chance with you. Let's see. Three of Pentacles reversed. So there could be somebody who potentially had you in some kind of a third party thing in the past and they want a second chance now. Or when you guys dealt with each other before, you kind of, there was no kind of teamwork, you know? Could be a co-worker of yours as well a co-worker that kind of wants you to look at them different than you do six of wands reverse there could be somebody that feels like they lost you to another person or you could feel like you lost them to another person but now they're resurfacing because they feel like there was some kind of a loss here Anyway, moving on. Recent past Ace of Coins. This is a new offer of commitment here in your recent past. Something meant to be long-term, but it is it is new or just like a renewal of something you're already in. Now, presently, you have the Queen of Wands. So you're only at the page and you're dealing with somebody here who's at the Queen. So there could be an age difference between you and somebody you're dealing with or just a difference in the attraction. You know, like one of you might be more confident than the other one. Let's see. What is up with the Queen of Wands? This is, it's real attractive. Um, this kind of person is like about their appearance, their image, and really goal driven. You know, like they have the confidence to go after what they want, knowing that they're going to get it, not in an arrogant way. It's just a confidence, the confidence that they earn.
Three of Pentacles again. You've got the Three of Pentacles twice. You have it reversed in your energy though, and now we have it upright. So you, you could definitely be involved with two different people here, or your person could be involved with two different people. You've now got triple threes as well, if that means anything to you. Again, could be a coworker or somebody that you meet through something that you're good at, some kind of talent, two of pentacles. I, I think somebody's juggling two people, dude. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I think that somebody's trying to decide between two people here, weighing their options. Or somebody is just real caught up with their job and like doesn't quite have enough time for anything else. Knight of Swords. That's an honest conversation. So this is like spilling some truth real impulsively, real recklessly. It's just kind of like blurting the shit out. What is this about? Four of Wands. 11-11. Stability. Soulmate shit. Um, this is somebody kind of talking about what it is that they want like they're looking for stability and you're in the three of wands and we have the four of wands here so that's a natural progression but it's about stability it's about moving in together getting married if that's in your belief system or whatever but that's what this is here it's an honest conversation about like what you want it to look like because somebody here wants the whole deal high priestess you've got the high priestess twice here so there's definitely something significant with you and whoever you're dealing with um there's some kind of a spiritual significance here especially with having the high priestess on top of the 1111 so you've got the high priestess twice you've got 1111 you've got triple threes um Pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to signs, synchronicities, whatever's happening. When you see the triple threes, pay attention to what you're thinking about at that time. All right, let's just move on to this next one because we've got the high priestess back to back. So we'll clarify her. Why is the high priestess here? The cancer. And this is in your future as well as presently. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So your intuition might be trying to tell you that something that you're doing is repeating a pattern that you've already done. So like if you have somebody coming back wanting a second chance, it looks like it's going to be the same as it always was. And your intuition might be trying to tell you that. So um, pay attention. Watch out for repeated, repeated patterns here, doing the same shit over and over, not getting anywhere. And also, this is like workaholic shit. So somebody here might just be working too damn much. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, you guys. I accidentally shut Lebowski in the bathroom. He's the cat, so give me just one second. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's see what else we can get on this in your future here. I will put your energy with the different signs at the end, guys. Two of coins reverse. The, yeah, so if somebody is weighing their options or trying to decide between two different people, this is somebody getting dropped. Mm -hmm. And it's also a lot of workaholic shit. Like, Somebody's real overwhelmed with their job. I mean, I'm trying to stick to love, but, you know, that's going to affect all aspects. The lover's reverse Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. If so, um, doesn't look to be that healthy, you know, um, so this is like soulmate divine counterpart, but there's there's a disconnect. There's a lack of harmony here. There's some some things out of balance. All right. Anyway, 
your potential obstacle is the wheel reverse. So timing again, it's really just, <coughs> you have, you have the wheel here twice. You have it upright in your own energy, you have it reverse as an obstacle. So that's the kind of energy when um, you're trying to force something or the other person is, and you kind of just have to go with the flow and let the universe do what it's doing. The universe is clearing obstacles, you know, turning things around. Um, but it might not feel like it. It might not feel like it. There might be a timing issue with you and this other person either in general, like the timing might be off because one of you might be involved with somebody else or somebody's working too much and just literally does not have the time. All right, let's see. Why is the wheel reverse here? Eight of cups reversed. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's, somebody's like stuck on you. Somebody's like stuck on you, um, not trying to walk away or trying to come back. Oh yeah, the Page of Cups. Can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is like an apology. Somebody is either trying to come back or not letting you go. And this is like kind of, um, it's kind of like talking about some feelings, apologizing, doing whatever it is that they need to do to get you back or to keep you from leaving. They might be saying that, you know, the timing just wasn't right before, but now it is. That kind of thing. Okay. Let's see, your advice is a six of swords. So this is just, to, it's moving on to an easier, calmer way of being. This is leaving lessons and difficulties in the past. Um, you know, moving away from things that are just too challenging, not beneficial. It's taking the lessons that you've learned in your past and like moving on with them. Not forgetting what you've learned, but not continuing to stay in the difficulties either. In the Knight of Swords. Got the Knight of Swords twice, so there's definitely a conversation that needs to happen here. Could also be dealing with a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you do have Gemini here, they're just jacked up. Like, they're not a healthy Gemini. The sun reverse. Yeah, there's some sadness and there's some lack of clarity because somebody is not speaking their truth. Oh, there we go. Sun upright. So it's all about taking like the sadness and turning it into a positive. It's taking that lack of clarity that you have and speaking your truth and getting it out there so that you have clarity. You can say what you have to say, see how they respond, and then, then you'll know. It'll be clear. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. There's also a pregnant chick on here if that means anything to you. It's going after your happiness. All right. Let's get you an oracle. What does Cancer need to hear this week? What does Cancer need to hear this week? You could have a coworker that's just like attracted to you and they want you to kind of look at them that way too. Um, you could have somebody, you know, trying to come back, but it's just sex based. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will uh, bring you romance. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Well, okay. Cool. <laughs> Something's fucked up. Oh, Ge not Gemini. Something's fucked up with this Gemini. Something's fucked up here, Cancer. Something's off. It definitely looks like third party um, or just, you know, dating around, dating a couple people. It doesn't have to be necessarily cheating. 
All right, so this oracle, guys, is if you have someone in mind that either you're not talking to them currently or you are, and they're just not the type to tell you how they feel, this is what they would say to you if they could. So, whoever's on your mind, Cancer, take a deep breath, focus on that person. What does this person have to say to Cancer? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. And what else? I wish I could share my good news with you. All right, let's check into this. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Who is this person? Can be a Taurus, potentially somebody that you were actually married to or you guys share the same um, cultural, religious, spiritual beliefs, whatever. And the Ace of Cups, somebody who definitely wants a new beginning here. I wish I could share my good news with you. Who is this? Huh, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has some good news about like a job, um, a house, money, and potentially an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, um, let's get you with the different signs, guys. So who do you have so far? We have, let's just move these out of the way because I don't remember. We have Pisces, Gemini. Is that it for majors? Yeah, okay. Pisces and Gemini, oh, and Taurus up here. So Pisces, Gemini, and Taurus are your majors so far. All right, guys. Cancer dealing with Aries. They are looking for long-term commitment. Um, they're trustworthy, dependable, commitment-minded. Cancer and Taurus. So, um, they're not the nicest person. They're kind of like a spoiled brat in a grown person body. They're really controlling, really demanding, um, narcissistic, abusive potentially. Cancer and Gemini. They're also looking for long-term commitment. They're very stable. They really have their shit together. Like they're trying to get married and shit. Cancer and Cancer. You could have a Cancer that's trying to come back to you or isn't trying to let you go, even though there's a lot of fighting. Cancer and where are we at? Leo. They're manipulative and I wouldn't fuck with them. Cancer and Virgo. All the happiness, guys. You've got the sun three times in this reading. Now, one of the times it's reversed, but you've got it upright twice, so that's cool. So this is like ultimate happiness, ultimate clarity. Everything's out in the open. Cancer and Libra. No, that's not going anywhere. And you, you guys might be at too much of a distance to where it's a problem or it's just stagnant. It's stuck. Cancer and Scorpio. Whatever the conflict is there, whatever the drama is, whether it's between the two of you or external to you and just affecting you it's going to clear up um there are going to be people around that are just being like competitive and jealous but that's that's resolving cancer and sagittarius they feel rejected by you um you maybe you ghosted them or something or maybe this is an ex cancer and capricorn new beginning some truth coming in a breakthrough Cancer and Aquarius, divine counterpart shits. Um, this has massive potential for growth. It's divine feminine. So either they're in their divine feminine energy or that's how they look at you. But they're looking for the whole deal, you know, marriage, kids, whatever. Cancer and Pisces. So this is like um, some kind of an intellectual connection. You guys probably communicate very well. If they have any feelings, you're probably not going to know about it. They're trying to just keep it really like head over heart, you know? All right, y'all. Take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.